I've got another review for you guys today. It's Ross. We're going to look at um, a variety called LDA or Long de Dut. It's a French fig, meaning long of August. Um, it's a big fig. It's a longer fig. That's why they call it long. It's usually a, has a longer shape to it. It is also a pre, it's a medium size to a large uh, size fig. It's quite productive. It's quite vigorous. It's quite hardy. It's quite rain resistant, split resistant. It's actually a really fantastic variety for anybody in the world, really. Uh, it's one of the standards. It's a keeper on my uh, spreadsheet. Uh, I may actually upgrade this based off of what I'm seeing this year. It hasn't been all that productive this year, just simply due to many, many shoots from the base that have been shading each other out. There wasn't enough light penetration. And then as the tree got to a certain height, the imagine, like you could draw an imaginary line really at my waist. And anything above my waist has fruit buds on it, but anything below does not. So um, we just did not have the light penetration that we needed to have a productive variety this year. But whatever is on the tree, there's a number of figs and they're huge. They are massive. Um, so they're larger than normal. And the simple fact is because we have so many leaves, so much carbohydrates that uh, all that is being pumped into the figs. And they're, they're just bigger than normal this year. When you have less figs and you have so many leaves, it really does get pumped in here. All that sugar, all that carbohydrates gets pumped into the fruits. And I find it produces a larger, a larger fig. And that's been not just this variety, but other varieties pretty much across the board. Um, I have a fig right here. There really isn't a whole lot more to say about this. It's, it's got everything to it. Here's the fig. Um, let me zoom in, get a nice photo. It actually looks really great this year. I think prior years it wasn't necessarily as red as this. This is a fig that has a really high sweetness as well. The skin you can tell is very thin. Um, it's a pleasure to eat, you know. It's probably not a commercial variety just because of how thin that skin is and, you know, I don't know. I guess it just won't hold up. It's really quite soft as well. Maybe if I picked this yesterday. It did rain quite a bit, and I have a number of varieties splitting, like LSU Tiger, Champagne, Huye. Uh, I even had an Azores Dark that... Uh, didn't necessarily split, but sort of had a larger eye to it. So this one didn't, and I think that's a testament right there. It didn't crack either. Um, so yeah, I think for the hobbyist, it's a fantastic, fantastic variety, but I'm not sure this one will really work out here in terms of selling it. Um, we'll have to see. But again, I think it's one of the best figs you can grow um, as a hobbyist, just in general, how much, how productive it is. If you had to choose one, this would be a really good choice. You know what I mean? Uh, let's try the fig because the flavor I think is a little bit different than others. Yeah. So this fig really does remind me of a, of the white Triana we had. but maybe not as much overall flavor to it. It's a little bit less, a little bit more bland, let's say. So if white Triana is a 4.5, this is a four. And it also is not as thick. It's really quite uh, syrupy. There's a lot of syrup, a lot of nectar, a lot of honey in this. Very sweet. And I have noticed that that sweetness, that flavor, really coats your palate, that nectar. And it's a long lasting flavor to it, a long lasting sweetness. So it's melon flavored. There's not a whole lot of berry in here. Now, if you let them ripen for a very long time, 
Like as much as I have ripened that white Triana, I mean, I'm sure it would have a much more intense flavor, much more intense berry flavor. And maybe I could say that this is a 4.5 and might even be, I guess, slightly better than white Triana. I'm not sure. Um, I think it's an interesting comparison, honestly, between the two. And maybe I'll have to align them two together and f have them fight it out at some point, see which one I'd rather have. But uh, for me, I think it's actually a really good fig. Um, I do want to leave some of these on here and see just how long they can go. Because I don't even think I've ever done that. I don't think I've ever just let them hang for a super long time. Um, so we'll see what happens. But yeah, this is uh, LDA, long to do. Fantastic variety. Hope to see you guys soon. Hit that subscribe button for me. We'll talk to you guys later.